Imagine a world where your daily commute is no longer bound by traffic lights and endless lines of cars, but instead, you lift off vertically in a silent electric aircraft. Well, Joby Aviation is making that future a reality. But where exactly is this sci-fi level technology being built? And more importantly, what's next? Stick around because what's happening behind the scenes is wild. Joby Aviation. Inside the factory's building flying taxis. Joby Aviation was founded in 2009 by Joben Bevert in the Santa Cruz Mountains of California. The company began as one of several projects incubated on Bevert's ranch, focusing on electric aviation technologies. In its early years, Joby operated in stealth mode, developing and testing prototypes in the Santa Cruz area. By 2015, the company was testing subscale prototypes of its electric vertical takeoff and landing EVTOL, aircraft. In November 2022, Joby Aviation expanded its presence by acquiring the former headquarters of Plantronics, later known as Poly, at 333, 345, and 375 Encinal Street, Santa Cruz, CA, for $25.5 million. This facility, encompassing approximately 162,000 square feet across five buildings, now serves as Joby's main headquarters. Therefore, Joby's original headquarters were located on Joe Ben Beaverts Ranch in the Santa Cruz Mountains before relocating to their current facility on Encinal Street in Santa Cruz. Today, it's one of the biggest players in the urban air mobility race. Marina, California, Pilot Factory. Built in 2021, expanding in 2024. Located at Marina Municipal Airport, this is Joby's first manufacturing facility. Here's where prototypes turn into reality. Joby recently doubled its production space to pump out more aircraft, aiming for 25 units per year. Built 2021. Expansion underway 2024. Current capacity, small scale production, 25 aircraft per year. Upgrades, new production lines for faster assembly. Scaling up to meet FAA certification insane fact, this is where Joby's first production prototype was built and later tested by the U.S. Air Force. Dayton, Ohio, Mega Factory. Construction starts 2024. Welcome to the next level, a massive full-scale production plant at Dayton International Airport. This factory will churn out up to 500 aircraft a year once fully operational. It's not just a factory, it's the future of air travel. Announced, 2023, construction starts 2024, production begins 2025. Jobs created 2000 plus. Why Dayton? It's the birthplace of aviation. The Wright brothers built their first planes here. And now Joby is continuing that legacy by building the next era of flight. Washington DC, regulatory HQ, not a factory, but super important. This office is Joby's lobbying and FAA negotiation hub, where they work to get these flying taxis approved for public use. Purpose. FAA approvals, government contracts. Power move. Joby landed a $131 million Air Force contract, a huge step for flying taxis in military applications. Munich, Germany, European R&D hub, opened 2023. Joby isn't just a US thing. They have an R&D center in Germany, focused on bringing EV tall to Europe, strategic location, close to European aerospace talent and regulations. Opened 2023, purpose, EU market expansion tech development. What's next? So where does Joby go from here? One Dayton factory expansion. They might double production capacity as demand rises. Two, international factories. Could Joby set up a factory in Asia next? Three air taxi hubs? Imagine Joby building launch pads in major cities, like Uber, but for the sky. Final thought, we're witnessing history being made. Joby isn't just building aircraft, they're laying the foundation for a new era of transportation. So if you think self-driving cars were a big deal, just wait. Your next ride might be a flying taxi. Joby Aviation's profitability potential at peak production can be assessed based on several key factors. Revenue and margin potential. Joby Aviation has shown potential for high gross margins 
with estimates suggesting margins up to 50% in international markets due to high margin sales opportunities. This is particularly relevant in partnerships like the one with Mukamala Aviation in Saudi Arabia, where pre-delivery payments could range from $37.5 million to $75 million, based on an average selling price of $5 million per aircraft. Such arrangements could significantly accelerate the path to profitability by providing substantial cash flow. Production Scale Joby plans to produce up to 500 aircraft per year in its scaled manufacturing facility in Dayton, Ohio, which could support up to 2,000 jobs with an investment of up to $500 million. The company's strategy involves scaling up from an initial low volume at its pilot production plant to higher volumes at this new facility. This scaling is crucial for reaching profitability as it directly impacts economies of scale and cost efficiency. Unit economics. Analysts suggest that Joby's business model could lead to highly attractive economics per aircraft. For instance, with a cost per aircraft of 1.3 million and potential annual revenue of $2.2 million per aircraft, the company could see a profit of $1 million per aircraft annually after operational costs. The payback period for each aircraft is projected at 1.3 years with a lifetime value creation potential per city operation ranging from $1 billion to $3 billion, given the right market conditions and utilization rates. Market expansion and certification. The successful launch in international markets like Dubai and Saudi Arabia could serve as a proof of concept, potentially attracting more partners and customers. However, delays in FAA certification could pose significant risks to this timeline and thus to profitability. Joby's progress in certification stages is critical, as full certification allows for commercial operations, which are key to revenue generation. Financial health, Joby Aviation ended 2023 with a strong balance sheet, holding over $1 billion in cash and short-term investments, which provides financial stability to support scaling up production and commercialization efforts. However, the company has not been profitable with net losses reported, indicating that profitability is still anticipated upon reaching higher production volumes and market penetration. Risks and challenges. The company faces competition, regulatory hurdles, and the inherent risks of pioneering a new form of urban air mobility. There's also criticism regarding the feasibility of their production and profitability timelines, as noted by short sellers like Kerastale Capital. These factors could potentially delay or reduce the profitability expected at peak production. Joby Aviation's production feasibility has faced criticism primarily from short sellers like Bleecker Street Capital, with analyst Chris Droz arguing in a 2022 CNBC report that Joby cannot meet its ambitious targets, such as producing 141 aircraft by 2024 and over 900 by 2026 due to slow progress at its Marina, California pilot plant which was then slated for just 10 electric vertical and takeoff and landing aircraft annually. Critics highlight Joby's $513 million net loss in 2023 and high cash burn, $302 million, against minimal revenue, $1.03 million, questioning its ability to scale amidst regulatory and technical delays, with JP Morgan's 2025 downgrade to underweight, citing dilution fears and a missing CFO. On the pro side, Raymond James counters that Joby's phased manufacturing approach, pilot plant to higher volume facilities like Dayton, Ohio, is pragmatic, supported by $2.25 billion in funding, including $894 million from Toyota and its lead in FAA certification, stage four underway. The debate pits Joby's pioneering vision and partnerships against execution risks with bulls emphasizing its long-term potential in a multi-billion dollar EV tall market and bears stressing current financial and production shortfalls. In summary, while Joby Aviation has significant potential for profitability at peak production due to high margin sales, robust unit economics, and strategic partnerships, achieving this potential is contingent on successfully scaling production, securing certifications, and navigating market and competitive challenges. The company's path to profitability 
will largely depend on how effectively it can manage these variables.